Welcome to the era of the fight of dental occlusion. I'm Martina Palmieri, product manager of Titan, a leading company in the biomedical sector. And today I'm very pleased to introduce you to this, the event dedicated to our new software. Dental malocclusion is a problematic which affects many, so many people and is so underestimated because nobody talks about it enough. Malocclusion can cause problems at the level of chewing, swallowing and also at the articular level. So the patient can feel both dysfunction in the muscular level as well as the, in the articular one. For many years now, with our product Titan, many orthodontics have trusted us thanks to our validated and scientific protocol, which is based on a medical device which is very innovative. But this was not enough and will never be enough. We want always more for our customers and their patients here at Titan. That's why we designed a new software and a new user experience to level with the highest professionalism of our clients. Before going into the technical and graphical aspects of the new software, let me take a moment to thank our research and development team because there will never be an excellent product without investing in it and also without a team which is pulling in the same direction. Speaking about pulling in the same direction, I want to emphasize that the work of all of Titan people has led not only to go beyond the Italian borders, the national borders, but we went beyond also the European ones. So we are now present in France, Germany, Spain, but also in Brazil, Mexico and United States. Demonstrating that the internationalization of Titan is not just a long-term project, but it's an objective that we are achieving day by day, one center at a time. We are not satisfied with doing the best. We want much, much more. Without excuses, without compromise, without shortcuts. Simply Titan. <laughs>and press on the tick on the left, which will be saving the patient and open the patient screen. On the patient screen, we will have three main information. The first one is the summary of the anagraphic of the patient. The second one is the history of the patient in Titan, so it means all the previously acquired tests. And then the two buttons which will lead to the acquiring phase. Uh, the first one is the occlusal test and the second one is the chewing test. Today we will perform an occlusal test, so I'm going to press on the blue button on the left. Once I've clicked on the occlusal test button, the first thing that the software tells me is how to perform the test. So we will have some pop-up explanation, which will be um, all the information that I will need to perform correctly the test. So the first thing is to place the probes on the patient, which I've already done. And the second phase is the calibration part of the test, which lasts five seconds and is performed by using cotton rolls inside the mouth of the patient between the fifth and the sixth tooth. Open. Okay. Once the patient is ready, we can press on the REC button on the software and start the acquisition. 
we ask the patient to clench as hard as possible with the cotton rolls inside his mouth. Once the five seconds have passed, the software automatically goes on the occlusal, occlusal phase of the test. So I'm going to remove the cotton rolls and ask the patient to clench again as hard as possible. Once the test is finished, the patient can relax and the software automatically gives the report of the test. From a clinical point of view, the occlusal test report as well as the chewing test report have not changed. We have the same information, so the occlusal plane in a graphical, represented in a graphical way, and then the numerical indexes with an indication if their numbers and their values are within or outside the normal band. The first page is the same as we saw before, but has a new look and a new uh, experience because it's more intuitive and it's easier to interpret for the clinician. The second page represents the muscular activity of uh, uh, the masticatory muscles and it can be seen both in a percentage way, so in a numerical way, or in a qualitative way, maybe to interact more easily and to communicate easily to the, to the patient his, his own state of uh, health of the masticatory muscles. The last page is the one which contains a summary of the test and so shows whichever index is inside or outside the normal band and also has the uh, possibility to insert some notes which can be helpful. The report itself is being uh, redesigned in order to achieve, first of all, a better um, understanding of the situation of the masticatory muscle of the patient and the main purpose behind the redesign of the occlusal test report as well as the chewing test report is twofold. On one hand, we, want, we wanted to um, make the report more easy to, under, to be understood by the clinician. On the other hand, we wanted to make the patient more aware of his occlusal balance situation and the reason behind any treatment that may occur in the, in the clinic. If the report was, was to be shared with the patient, the options are all inside the, of, the software. So it means that once the preview of the report is uploaded, the clinician can both send the report by, via email or print it, or just download the PDF file. The report can be also personalized. So if, for example, the main focus wants, if the clinician wants the main focus to be just the occlusal plane, he can remove, as I'm doing right now, he can remove the two other pages. Another thing that can be done with the report is to print more than one uh, test. So by, with an easy drag and drop motion, another, many other tests can be printed in the same report. Speaking of um, more tests, we also have a new feature, which is the comparison feature. Uh, in the previous version of Titan, we were allowed to compare pre and post treatment analysis, so just two tests. Now we can compare more than one, more than two and more than three. So we can do as many comparisons as we want, both in terms of comparing each report one, one another, each page, or we can see the time evolution of each numerical index through time. So it means that, as I'm showing right now, we can see how the, for example, the POC temporalis index has increased or decreased or stayed st stable through to an entire treatment during the patient's uh, history in the clinic. This graph is very, is very intuitive and it's very important both for the clinician and as well as for the patient because for the clinician it shows how its path of treatment has produced an increase or a decrease of a particular index and on the other end for the patient it's quite easy to understand a, a good increase in the health of the, of the masticatory muscle because thanks to the green bands, we can see 
how should the muscular, the muscular balance be. As for the report itself, also the time evolution can be printed, shared via email or saved as a PDF file. And uh, this is very important for, um, for communicating with the patient as well. To make the report even more intuitive and easy to understand, we also introduced the guide for the indexes. So um, both when consulting some reports, both when the patient is physically at the clinic and wants to know more about his health and um, muscular balance, the clinician can share also the definition of each index and explain to the patient what each index means. Mm-hmm.